see that? Look at the size of that well right there. Look at that. It's, it's not clickbait. This is the totally true story of how Jamie Foxx, the movie star, hit me in the face and gave me a, like a, gave me a black eye. I am a terrible actor. Not here yet. Get back to set now. So I've talked before about my friends Ariel Shulman and Henry Juiced. These are like friends of mine from when I was young and we used to make like stupid fun videos together. We're still super close, but when I went like the degenerate route of being like a YouTuber, they went like the pro filmmaker route and now they're like big wig Hollywood filmmakers. <laughs> Now, I know that this is a big deal movie, like a huge, huge Hollywood movie. Beyond Jamie Foxx, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's in it, and Dominique Fishbacker in it, huge movie stars. But when you show up on set and you see what like a, a movie of this caliber looks like, it's incredibly intimidating. You're like a fairy tale, a wish come true. A little bit of context here. The movie is called Project Power. And the premise of the movie is that like you can take this one pill and it gives you like a superhero power, but you don't know what that power is going to be. Like maybe it makes you like incredibly strong or bulletproof or turns you into like a fire person or makes you invisible or makes it so you can climb up buildings or it could be anything. It, like turns you into a superhero, but only for five minutes and also it could kill you. That's the premise of the movie. Great movie. It's out on Netflix, you should check it out. But that, that's the context of this situation. Do you know what it means to be, um, to be typecast? Typecasting is when like you assign a movie role to an actor who in real life is like that character. Like if your character in the movie is like a really handsome, charming, funny guy, you hire Channing Tatum, that's typecasting. So in this movie, my character, the role that I play is that of a total douchebag who rides a motorcycle. Typecast. And in my opening scene, I roll up with like my movie girlfriend, who is like this total babe who is not my wife. That took some getting used to. And her name is Jazzy. And I have to like drive up on my motorcycle and get off my motorcycle and, spoiler alert, not really, I'm in the movie for like 30 seconds. And I like get off my motorcycle, I'm like this tough guy, and I like bump into Jamie Foxx. In action. Hey, come on. I'm gonna be so one day. This sounds easy, and probably because it is for any normal actor, but I screwed it up, and we had to do the take like 10 times, and one of those times, I turned to Jamie, and I was like, hey, how do you think I did that time? And he was like, he was like, I don't know, man, I'm not the director, ask those guys, and he pointed at Henry and Rel, and I was like, cool. That's a true story, like what? I felt like such an idiot, cause like, to see Jamie Foxx in real life, I, I am the biggest fan of this guy, but this is his world, like he is this actor and he takes what he does so seriously and he's so good on set and he's such a good, like he's just such a good performer and on top of that he's like sh just strikingly handsome in real life and like this is our first scene together and I'm just like screwing it up left and right. But then the big scene happens. We enter this underground like nightclub bar and this was in like a, a set, like in a huge sound stage. They built this whole set and there's like 20 stunt guys in there and this huge battle is supposed to go down in there. Okay, so in the set, this is the stunt squad here, these guys. They're really good fighters. So on the set here, 
They're about to shoot a big action sequence with lots of explosions. And I kept getting in trouble because I kept playing with the prop guns. And they were just props, but they were all really cool. But like the prop master was in charge of the guns. He didn't want people touching them. There's a pattern here, and that pattern is that I was not like... I was not as professional on set as I should have been. This is all a learning experience for me. I think like one of the more impressive things that the like the professional actors and actresses on set could do is in between takes, they could be having fun. Like Jamie in particular had a backpack that was a boom box and he was playing music between takes and everyone was having a good time. And then it's work time, boom. He's a pro again. <laughs> <laughs> and this is silly to say, but like that's so different from making YouTube videos or making nonfiction videos where it's like, you're always kind of capturing the reality. But on these sets, you have to get in the character and you have to own that character. All right, so my big scene, and this is a spoiler, but I'm not giving much away because my like my role in this movie has almost no bearing on like the broader plot line. But my scene goes like this: me and my girlfriend go into this bar, and then my girlfriend goes into this like chamber, and she's gonna demo the power pill, like the pill that gives you the superhero power. But things go horribly wrong, and I need to get her out of that cell. So like she's in there freaking out and I have to like get her. And then Jamie Foxx goes on a tear and starts killing everybody in the room. And I'm one of those guys. All right, it doesn't look like this in the final movie, but you see like, okay, that's like my girlfriend. And there's all kinds of special effects in the real movie where she, well, you gotta see what happens during the movie. And then I'm out there and I'm like, Yo, I'll save you, babe. Let me kick in this glass. And then, out of nowhere, comes Jamie Foxx kicking ass behind me, smashes my face into the glass, and down I go. Now, I think that that take right there, that was actually a rehearsal. In the rehearsal, I just remember after the rehearsal, my little brother said to me, Casey, you're not selling it. Like, you're not selling it. Like, I don't believe it. So then we tried this thing where they taped like a blood-covered sponge to my forehead. So when I hit the wall, it splattered blood. That, that didn't work either. So then the stuntman steps out and in comes Jamie Foxx. And as like the spinning around is happening, all that's going through my head is like, full send, Casey. Sell it. Sell it. You can't just hit the wall with your hand and make the noise. You gotta really own that. And Jamie like grabs the back of my head and boom! And I should have stopped it because he wasn't using any force. It was all me. And instead of stopping, I went whack, poof, and then like straight whack, straight back onto the ground, and I just had to play dead. Yo, yo, Rel. What's up? Are you nervous about the movie coming out tomorrow? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit? <laughs> yeah, sure. It's so exciting. Sending my baby off to school. Um, so I'm, I'm making this YouTube video, Rel, and it's like, it's all about how Jamie Foxx punched me in the face and gave me a black eye on accident. He didn't punch you in the head. He slammed your face against a plexiglass <laughs> tank. <laughs> because you asked him to. I wanted it to be convincing. But I'm worried that he's going to be mad when he sees it. What? He's not going to be mad. He's going to love it. He loved you. You don't, you don't think that, like, it's going to remind him of just what, like, a goof I was on the set? You want to call him? I'm not, his number. I'm not calling I'm not calling just, Jamie Foxx. What, what, just FaceTime him. He loves FaceTime. I guarantee you Jamie Foxx right now is starring in some huge movie on set or he's out, like, doing some charity project, saving the world's children, and he doesn't want a FaceTime call from Casey Neistat. You call him, Rel. Can you call Fine. him? Fine. All right, I'm in the Idaho airport. Let's FaceTime Jamie Foxx and uh, see if he remembers slamming your face against the glass. What, what are you doing? I'm getting worked out. <laughs> Oh, that looks like it feels good. What's up, bro? Hey, you don't have to stop, man. Keep going. <laughs> What's going on with it? 
you remember uh, Casey Neistat, who was in the movie you, when you banged his you banged his head against the glass? Yeah. You remember that guy? He thinks that you're mad that you were uh, upset. No, he's great. What are you talking about? That's what I said. It was worth it, right? Yeah. Oh man. Oh great. Like not even not even close. Like it's a great time. Maybe I do have a future in Hollywood after all.